1 Peter 5, 8. Be on your guard and stay awake. Your enemy, the devil, is like a roaring lion sneaking around to find someone to attack. Kailangan ang mamanampalataya ay laging maingat, nagbabantay, dahil tumitiyempo lang ang kaaway upang siya ay salakayin. Ang pag-aaral natin, nababaunin natin sa buong bagong taon para lalo tayong maging bukas ang mata, nagmamatiyag, temptation. Tukso. Ano nga ba talaga ang mga uri ng tukso? Salamat Panginoon dahil kayo ay Diyos na mapagmatiyag, mapagbantay, at kami lagi inyong ginaalalayan, ginagabayan, tinutulungan. Pakalinisin niyo nga po kami patawarin sa aming mga pagkukulang at ngayon, Panginoon, ay pagpalain niyo po kami ng inyong katuruan, karunungan, kaliwanagan. We seek you. Father, be our speaker. Preach to your people. We ask in the name of your Son, Jesus. John 3.17 God did not send His Son into the world to condemn its people. He sent Him to save them. Jesus had a clear mission, goal, objective, and even method. Malinaw na may mission si Jesus, malinaw sa kanya ang mission na ito, pati ang paraan ng pagtupad niya sa mission. Like Jesus, everyone has a main mission in life. We were created in God's image, and the Son gives us a model by which we live, and we all have our own specific personal main missions in life. A major calling, a big reason for being. Bakit ba tayo nabubuhay? Bakit ganito ang ating pagkatao? Bakit ganito ang ating mga talento? Bakit tayo pinagkalooban ng mga ganito at ganyang mga kakayanan? Dahil meron tayong kanya-kanyang individual na mission. You and I should know what your main life mission, calling, and work is. And it is usually defined by your gifts from God, by your nature, by your talent and skill, your natural aspiration, and even enjoyment. Hindi mahirap malaman kung ano ang mission ng tao sa buhay, kung kanyang susuriin, kung ano mga ibinigay sa kanyang mga katangian, kakayanan, na siya ang napakagaling gumawa, pati na ang kanyang mga natural na mga hinahangad at gusto sa buhay, at yung na-enjoy niyang gawin, yan ang mga tumutulong sa atin para kilalanin kung ano ba talaga ang papel natin sa mundo, ano ba ang mission natin, ano ba ang saysay ng ating buhay. Because this main mission could be the meaning of your life. And it involves self-realization. Nilikha tayo ng Diyos para matupad ang kanyang kalooban sa atin at matupad din yung niloloob natin para sa ating buhay na Diyos ang nagtanim sa ating puso. At nilikha tayo ng Diyos para matupad ang atin at kanya-kanyang misyon. Ano ang sinabi ni Jesus tungkol sa isang halimbawa ng natupad ang kanyang misyon? Matthew 25:23. Wonderful, his master replied. You are a good and faithful servant. I left you in charge of only a little, but now I will put you in charge of much more. Come and share in my happiness. So people are given missions by God. And God is pleased when this mission is accomplished. And when a person uses the God-given talents and capacities to accomplish that mission, God enlarges his or her tent capacities to do much more. But the biggest obstacle to one's mission and goal is a fake, a counterfeit, a false mission. Ito ay isang malalim na kahulugan ng temptation, ng tukso. Akala natin ang tukso ay para lang lahat sa mga bagay na parang masarap gawin pero bawal dapat. Hindi lang yun. Ang isang malaking temptation o tukso ay yung mahumaling ka, magkagustong humabol sa isang mission na hindi naman pala talaga yun ang mission mo sa buhay. A mission defined by others for you, a mission imposed only by circumstance, or a mission na ginawa natin dahil yun na lang ang lumagpak sa ating buhay at wala na tayong inisip na pwedeng ibang pwedeng gawin. Ipinapanganak tayo, 
lumalakas, tumatanda, humihina ulit, nababawian ang buhay, pero ang lahat ng yun ay dapat may kahulugan, may pinuntahan ng buhay, namunga tayo ang dapat ibunga, nakagawa ng dapat gawin, nakaambag sa mundo at sa kapwa ng mga dapat nating iambag at tumanggap mula sa Diyos at sa kapwa ng mga dapat nating tanggapin. Ang buhay ay mayroong dapat na itanim at anihin. Ang buhay ay mayroong dapat ibigay at tanggapin. At ito, ang malaking tukso, ay yung hindi ito maganap dahil tayo ay naghabol ng mga maling hahabulin, hindi dapat habulin at sinayang natin ang buhay natin sa paghahabol ng mga hindi naman yon ng ating mission sa buhay. Another big obstacle, of course, to one's mission and goal is to go after, not only to be deceived by, but to go after fake, counterfeit, and false missions. Halimbawa, ano ngayon ang pinag-aaksayahan natin ng oras? Anong pinag-uubusan natin ng lakas? Saang mga bagay natin iniuuko lang ating buhay? Napakarami. Magkakapatid, magkakaibigan, magkakaeskwela. Matapos ang tampu, dalawampu, tatlongpong taon at nilingon mo ang buhay, malalaman mo kung saan ginugol ang buhay, saan naubos. Kasi tatanda ka na, mababawi ang kanan ng buhay. Tapos walang nangyari. Ano ba ang dapat mangyari? Hindi tukso lamang yung mga bagay na ipinagbabawal dahil masarap, dahil makasalanan yun, etc., etc. Ang malaking tukso ay yung mapapaniwala ka ng kaaway na iba ang misyon mo kesa sa tunay mong misyon. Yung hindi mo maipamuhay ang tunay mong buhay at hindi mo magawa ang tunay na dapat ay gawin mo sa buhay. The biggest obstacle to one's mission and goal is the temptation to go after fake and counterfeit false missions. So merong ma-deceive, merong to go after, at merong talagang to pursue false missions. And in this light, the devil tempted Jesus. Napakagandang suriin ang pagtukso kay Jesus para malaman natin kung ano nga ba talaga ang tukso at ano ang goal ng panunokso. Matthew 4, 1-4 The Holy Spirit led Jesus into the desert so that the devil could test him or could tempt him. After Jesus had gone without eating for 40 days and nights, he was hungry. Then the devil came to him and said, If you are God's son, tell these stones to turn into bread. Jesus answered, The scriptures say no one can live only on food. People need every word that God has spoken. Ano ang temptation dito? Hindi naman masama na gawin mong tinapa yung bato, lalo't gutom ka. So the temptation here is not really bad. It probably could even be good in many ways. And that is to turn stone into bread. But why is it a temptation? Because it is distracting. The mission of Jesus was not about being obsessed with, enslaved and enticed by food, by needs and supplies, by existence and survival only, by momentary and incidental wants. Yun ang tukso. Na malibang si Jesus, na maisip, na nabubuhay lang siya para kumain, na nabubuhay lang siya para maghanap buhay, na tinapay lang ang mahalaga, yung mga basic needs lang ang mahalaga, at ito ay napakalaking temptation sa napakaraming tao. Na buong buhay nila, they are the focus from accomplishing great things, from being who they want, what they should be and what they could become because they are only obsessed with putting food on the table. Kaya malaking pasanin ng tao ang poverty. When people are very poor, they lose sight of their higher and nobler meanings of their lives because they are just too obsessed with putting food on the table three times a day. And it happens on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, week after week, month after month, year after year, and then they grow old and die and look backward to a life filled only with work to put food on the table. Eh, hindi lang yun ang ibig sabihin ng buhay. May mahalaga. Kumakain ka para magkaroon ka ng lakas, at kung malakas ka na, eh, para magawa mo ang tunay mong misyon. Pero hindi ka lang nabubuhay para makakain. At yun ang Panglilin lang ng tukso na ito, hindi nabubuhay si Jesus para lang tinapayang isipin. At yun ang isinisiksik ng demonyo sa kanyang isip. Pero hindi nagtagumpay ang demonyo dahil ang linaw ng sagot ni Jesus, hindi ako nabubuhay para lang kumain. May iba akong pagkain ang gawin ang misyon na ibinigay sa akin ng Ama sa Langit. 
Matthew 4, 5 to 7, sa pagpapatuloy ng tukso. Next, the devil took Jesus to the holy city and had him stand on the highest part of the temple. The devil said, If you are God's son, jump off. The scriptures say, God will give his angels orders about you. They will catch you in their arms and you won't hurt your feet on the stones. Jesus answered, the scriptures also say, don't try to test the Lord, your God. Ano ang tukso dito? Tumalon ka dyan sa bangin dahil sinabi naman sa Biblia, paaalagaan ka ng ama sa mga anghel, sasaluhin ka nila, ni hindi sasayad ang iyong talampakan sa mga bato, hindi ka masasaktan. Sige na, tumalon ka na. Ano ang masama dito? There's nothing bad about seeking protection from angels. But what is distracting here is that the mission of Jesus was not about testing God. It was not about proving Himself and not about showing off. And this genre, this kind of temptation is what deceives many people. All their lives, they spend all their best years and their best energies just trying to prove themselves to prove who they are, to prove that they're invincible, to prove that they can do great things and run away with it. This is the temptation. Kaya sabi niya, don't test God. Sa biglang tingin eh, hindi naman talaga very destructive yung sinasabi. Patunayan mong tatangkilikin ka at mamahalin ka ng Ama sa Langit. At maraming tao na uubos ang buhay na walang ginawa kasi kundi magpatunay magpatunay na pinakamaganda sila sa buong barangay, magpatunay na pinakamatalino sila sa buong section, magpatunay na pinakamatangkad sila, pinakamaputi, pinakamabilis magbasa. Puro pagpapatunay at puro contest, very competitive, no longer developing friends, no longer developing their higher personhood, kundi puro nilang dapat lagi silang manalo, may patunayan ng may patunayan. Hanggang namatay na lang, nagpapatunay pa rin, pero yun lang ba ang buhay? Malaking temptation yun sa ating lahat na dapat nating kilalanin. Sa pagpapatuloy ng temptation, dahil nabigo na naman, Matthew 4, 8 to 10. Finally, the devil took Jesus up on a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms on earth and their power. The devil said to him, I will give all of this to you if you will bow down and worship me. Jesus answered, Go away, Satan. The scriptures say, Worship the Lord your God and serve Him only. So, what is the temptation here? The temptation is to be distracted from His mission with materialism, with search for power. Na, ipinakita sa kanya lahat ng kaharian ng buong daigdig at sabi, ibibigay ko ito sa iyo, lumuhod ka lang sa akin, sumamba ka lang sa akin. And the mission of Jesus was not about amassing wealth and power. He was already powerful and wealthy as a son of God in a spiritual way, not in a material way. And the mission of Jesus was not about receiving or getting wealth and power, especially from the devil, from wrong sources. And again, this form of temptation can confront all of us nearly every day. Naisipin natin na ang buhay para lang sa pagpapayaman, para lamang sa pagpapalakas ng ating puwersa para magkaroon tayo ng kapangyarihan at masupil natin at madaig ang ibang tao at tumanggap tayo ng maraming maraming kayamanan kahit pangagaling na sa masama. Yun ang malaking tukso na ang goal mo sa buhay ay magpayaman at any cost. Maging makapangyarihan at any cost. At marami mga tao ang buong buhay nila ay ginugugol nila sa pagpapayaman. E mayaman din naman mahirap na mamatay din. Tinatablang din ang sakit yung mayaman, katulad ng mahirap. Pero kung ang pagpapayaman mo nalang ginawa mo sa buhay, to the point na sa demonyo ka na humingi, sa kanya ka na tumatanggap, gumagamit ka na ng masasamang paraan sa pagpapayaman, yun ang malaking temptation. Nabigo ang mga temptation na ito. Matthew 4, 11, Then the devil left Jesus and angels came to help him. E ano ngayon sa atin ang temptation na yan? Jesus is the model by which God's people are to live. Like Jesus, people have to know their mission. What is your mission? When you know your mission, 
you will not be hindered by daily mundane problems. Pag alam mo kung bakit ka nabubuhay, nalalampasan mo ang mga pagsubok, nalalampasan mo ang mga hirap dahil meron ka malaking goal. In the absence of big things, small things become big to small minds, to minds that do not know their mission. But when you know your big mission, small things will remain small in your life. They will not be able to hinder you from accomplishing great things, especially great spiritual things. Pero pag wala kang malaking mission, ang liit na bagay, minamalaki mo na. Pag wala kang malaking mission na ang pagsasama niyong mag-asawa ay pagandahin, pasarapin, patibayin, maliliit na problema lang, pinag-aawayan niyo na. Kasi walang malaking bagay na pinagtutuunan kayo ng pansin. Sa buhay natin, pag walang malaking mission, madali tayong bumigay, madali tayong sumuko, madali tayong paghinaan ng loob. Kaya dapat alam mo ang iyong mission. At sinabi na nga natin, paano ba nalalaman yan? Diyos ang lumikha sa'yo. Tingnan mo ang iyong sarili kung paano ka nilikha. Ano mga ibinigay sa iyong natural na mga kaktangian, kakayahan. Then for you, ang role mo sa buhay. Kung hindi ka binigyan ng great talent in math, hindi mo mission na maging engineer, for instance. Kung binigyan ka ng great talent ng pagluluto, malamang na yan ang mission mo. Hindi yung pipilitin mo maging dentista dahil yung tatay mo dentista. Kanya-kanyang talento, kanya-kanyang karunungan, kanya-kanyang papel sa buhay. May assignment tayo. At pag alam mo yung assignment mo, nasa tama kang lugar, doon ka sasaya, doon ka magiging mabunga, at doon matutuwa ang mga tao dahil sa'yo. But when you are in the wrong place, your right place will be empty. Somebody will be forced to take your right place, leaving his or her right place empty. It becomes a cycle. That's why it is important to be clear with our mission in life. At ang mission ay binibigay sa'yo ng Diyos, usually, ina-enjoy mo rin. Kahit nakapagod ka, nahihirapan ka, pero enjoy ang kalooban mo, enjoy ang iyong puso, mission mo yun sa buhay. Pero kung ayaw na ayaw mo, labag-dalabag sa kalooban mo, napipilitan ka lang dahil yun ang inaasahan ng taong dapat mong gawin, malamang na hindi yun ang mission mo sa buhay. Ang buhay ay maiksi, pero sapat. Life is short, but it is long enough for you to accomplish your life's mission. If only you would begin at the right time and not be distracted by temptations. Temptation to be someone else aside from your real self. Temptations from pursuing missions that are not really your assignments. Importante na pag namatay tayo, tumarap sa Diyos, ang katawan ang namatay, ang Espiritu ay patuloy ang nabumuhay, nabuhay at pumunta doon sa kabila, ay makaharap tayo at sasabihin ni Lord, great work, good accomplishment. You have done your assignment very well. Hindi assignment ng ibang ginawa natin, yung assignment tuloy natin, walang ibang gumawa. Like Jesus, people have to identify and overcome temptations, which in this case, we define as false, fake, counterfeit missions and goals, ambitions, and preoccupations. At isa na dito, food. Needs and supplies. Existence and survival only. God did not create you only for you to be existing and surviving. You've got to go beyond that because we have a great calling. We are made in the image of God. Kaya dapat nating labanan ang kahirapan at karokhaan. Dapat tayo magsikap, maging mabunga para kung tayo may kinakain na araw-araw, hindi na yung maging problema natin at harapin na natin ang tunay na mission natin sa buhay. Hindi isang kahig, isang tuka. Hindi yan ang kalooban ng Diyos para sa kanyang mga anak. We've got to be financially independent. We've got to be fruitful enough because once we have enough, then we can focus on the higher aspirations and missions of life. Maraming buhay ang nauubos at nasasayang tuloy sa paghahanap buhay lamang. Wala nang ginawa hanggang mamatay kundi naghanap buhay na lang. Hindi na nakagraduate mula doon sa isang kahit isang tuka level. Hindi na tuloy na develop ang mga talent, ang mga karunungan, hindi na nagawa ang mga mahahalagang dapat gawin sa buhay. Isa pang toksong dapat nating kilalanin, yung laging to test God, to prove Himself, and to show off. Tukso yan, tulad ng ibinibigay kay Jesus. Maraming buhay ang nauubos at nasasayang tuloy sa pagpapasikat lamang. Wala nalang gusto lagi kundi magpasikat. Tukso yan. Itinukso yan kay Jesus at dapat nating makilala na tukso. And another temptation is to amass wealth and power. 
Nothing wrong if you naturally become wealthy because you are very, very fruitful at pinagkakaloob ka ng grasya ng Diyos. But to be wealthy at any cost, no matter what, yun ang malaking tukso. Maraming buhay ang nasa ubos at nasa sayang tuloy sa pagpapayaman lamang. Hindi ka nabubuhay para lang yumaman. Kasi kahit man mayaman nga, sabi natin, nagkakasakit na mamatay, lumulungkot, iniiwan din ang asawa kahit mayaman. Pero mabuti na kung mayaman ka kaysa mahirap. Kung hindi mo kinailangan ibenta ang kaluluwa mo para ka lang yumaman. Kasi kahit pag yumaman ka na, na ibenta mo na yung kaluluwa mo, actually, wala rin yun. Kaya temptation yun. Temptation is doing wrong or doing something bad. That is a temptation. But a subtle, more deceitful temptation is doing only good when better could be done. Tulad nun, hindi naman masama na gumawa ng tinapay mula sa bato. Good naman yun. But the temptation is doing good when the better could be done and that is to transcend fixation on food and supplies. Kaya kung ikaw, ang grade mo 85, temptation, maging grade mo 85, eh good. Yung pala, kaya mo naman maging 90. Temptation yun, kasi ginawa mo lang yung good, hindi yung better. Because you are supposed to do something excellent because God is excellent and we were created excellently. Of course, another form of temptation is doing better, only better, when best could be done. The devil is subtle, the devil is deceitful, Temptation doesn't always come naked announcing that she is or he is a temptation. Temptation sometimes gets to you clothed with good intentions, with what seems to be a good thing to do. Dapat na kikita natin, nasusukat natin, tukso ito kahit hindi mukhang tukso sa biglang tingin. Life is important. Life is precious. Life is a gift of God. And life on earth is very limited. That's why we are to know our personal and individual designs in order to know our true mission and purpose. Psalm 139.14 And I praise you because of the wonderful way you created me. Everything you do is marvelous. Of this, I have no doubt. So ikaw, ako, tayong lahat, nilikha ng Diyos sa isang kagilagi lalas na paraan. Tayo yung mga kagilagilalas, maganda ang pagkakagawa sa atin. Kailangan lang ilagay mo ang sarili mo sa tamang lugar. At ano ang tamang lugar? According to your design. According to the intention of the one who created you. That's why you have to respect your natural design. Kasi God ang gumawa sa iyo. And you are wonderfully made. The temptation is to be someone else. Desiring this man's art or that man's scope. Sabi ni Shakespeare. Hinahangad na maging iba, hinahangad na maging tulad ng iba at hindi nililinang, hindi dinedevelop ang tunay na sarili. We are to know and identify our true mission and pursue it. And we are to be faithful to our calling and design and develop our gifts so we could accomplish our missions bit, and live our true lives in the best way. Are you living a false life? Are you living the life you were designed by God to live? Sayang ang buhay kung uubusin sa pagpapanggap, sa pagkukonwari, sa pagbabalat kayo. Maiksi ang panahon. Only truth sets free. We should be truthful to ourselves and we should allow others to be truthful to themselves and to us. We should not punish people for being true and honest. Because when you punish people for being true and honest about themselves, you will force them to go underground You will criminalize their true nature and true selves, then they will be forced to hide and everybody will be hypocrites. At yun ang ayaw ng Panginoon. Do not get misguided, misled, and deceived by these types of temptations. Hindi temptation lang yung ayon, nanigarilyo ayon, nagglasing, nagsugal, ng babae. Hindi lang yun ang mga temptation, mababaw ng mga temptation yun. Ang malalaking temptation ipinakita sa temptation by the devil of Jesus. And that is to distract him away from his true mission, from his true meaning, from his true self. 
to distract him, to be focused only on supplies and needs and wants, to be focused only on impressing others and proving oneself, to be focused only on amassing wealth and power. Yun. At maraming forma nun, maraming mga itsura nun, maraming detalye yun na pwedeng mangyari sa ating buhay na dapat nating suriin. Do not get deceived on what temptations really are because a temptation could be very, very cunning and very, very deceitful. Ama namin, ituro mo sa amin maging mapagmatsyag, mapag-aral, mapanuri, para makita namin kung ano-anong paraan kami dinadaya ng kaaway, sinasalakay, at pinagtatangkang sirain. Ipakita mo sa amin ng malinaw kung paano kami nilikha, ano ang misyon namin, base sa pagkakalikha mo sa amin, para ang maiksing buhay na ito, maipambuhay namin ng may kahulugan, may katuturan. Think about these things, ponder these things, pagbulay-bulayan natin, sumandali, at baunin natin sa pagharap sa maraming mga linggo, araw, buwan, taon, na hindi tayo padadaya. Hindi natin sasayangin ang oras na ibinibigay sa atin ng Panginoon, but we will be what we should be, we will do what we should be doing, and we will not be distracted by such tempting of propositions from the evil one. Lord, as your people bow before you and remain silent, let your voice be heard. Make this message personal to each one of us. Spend some time in quiet reflection.